Okay, this is uh, the bike with my HIDs in it. I've got uh, 10 watt LED lowers in the lower cowl, and then I've got the uh, LED turn signals with the clear lenses up top. And this is the brightness of the LEDs up against my garage door. And I'm about uh, 15 feet away from the garage door. Well, I don't know how good this video is going to look um, because I'm shooting this with a GoPro and I've just kind of got it pointed down here. But anyway, I uh, pulled the dash off. I've pulled the, uh, this is a 2006 GL1800. I've pulled the instrument cluster up out of the way just to get a good view of this video. Uh, I have HIDs installed on my bike and I'm going to uh, take out the left bulb, disconnect it, and I'm going to install this new LED. So here's the rubber boot. I'm just going to pull that off. And then here is the little spring that I need to release to get the bulb out. So I'm going to pull that spring back. And now here comes my bulb. Well, if I get it off and around that wire. There we go. So there's my HID bulb now out. And I guess my spacer. Oh no, my spacer is, is still on there good. So it's there on the bulb. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the uh, the black heat sink. I've unscrewed it off the back of the uh, LED, and now here's the the bulb with the spacer on it, and the tab goes up, the spacer goes up, and I'm gonna move the spring back into position. At least I'm going to try to. <laughs> Hold on a second. Now with the wire out of the way, I've got the wire pushed down now. There we go. Just need to it under there. Okay, so that's it installed. You back up. What I'm supposed to do now is I'm supposed to put the, well, I'm supposed to put the rubber boot on first, and then I'm supposed to screw the heat sink on. But because my wire to my ballast for my HIDs is still in there, uh, is running through the boot, I'm not going to do that yet. What I want to do now is just, um, hook this up so we can see what the light output looks like. So I'm going to run this wire back through the heat sink again. And now I'm just going to screw it on here. have the power converter that converts it from um, 12 volts down to whatever the voltage this LED uses and this connector is keyed so it will only go together one way and again I've got these two great big mitts here I'm trying to do this Wow, I wish I had more room. It sucks when you got really big hands I'm trying to get down in here. There we go. Now that's connected. Gonna... That's connected. I'm going to screw this, this outer ring right here. Screw it up tight. That holds it together. And now I simply take this connector and it goes plugs right into your OEM harness. Um, Plugs right into this. Now, chances are you're not going to be able to see me do this because, again, my big old mitts. 
So this is the um, end going to this converter. And then of course the other end goes up here to the light. Um, so now I'm going to back the bike out and take pictures so we can compare the LED on the left bulb as you're looking forward to the HID on the right. So, you got in it. Okay, um, left side is the new LED and the right side is the HID. The HID is 5500 degrees Kelvin, 35 watts. The LED is uh, 6000 degrees Kelvin, uh, 24 watts. And now I'm going to move down to get in the path of the light and we'll see how bright it is. Wow, it's quite impressive. Um, it looks good. Okay, here's what it looks like from the uh, rider's point of view. I'm just above the top of my windshield. And I'm going to reach in front. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up the uh, LED bulb. So that is just my HID now that you're seeing. And now I'm going to cover up the HID. Now that is just the LED bulb. Try that again. I think that. Okay, here is just the HID. Here is just the LED. Uh, I'm impressed. I didn't think the LEDs would be that bright. Okay, now I've got the heat sink screwed on to the bulb. And now I just have to find a place to uh, mount the power converter. And I think I'm going to mount it right here on the side of the tunnel. Um, I'll get some alcohol wipes, clean that real good, and then uh, put it on there with some double-sided sticky tape. Okay, as you can see, now I have the um, converter mounted right there on the side with that uh, good 3M double-sided tape. And I've also put a wire tie around the connector to be sure it stays together and doesn't vibrate loose. So that is the left bulb done. done left bulb done. So now I'll do the uh, do the right side. Okay, here it is installed. There's my uh, right bulb. There's the left bulb. And right there is where I mounted my uh, uh, power converter there for the right side. And then uh, same thing, I zip tied the connector together. So this is 100% plug and play. Uh, if I ever wanted to undo this, it's just a matter of taking out the bulb, popping that power converter off the side of the plastic right there, and just cutting that wire tie and unplugging it from the uh, OEM connector and putting my standard bulbs back in. Very easy. Okay, the LEDs are in. So I've got LEDs in the front now. I've got the uh, LED turn signals uh, with the clear housings from electrical connection. I've got the LED headlight bulbs on the low beams from electrical connection. And then I've got the uh, 10 watt uh, running lights down in the cowl from electrical connection. I'm going to move the camera down now so I can get down into the beam of the lights and you can see just how bright they are. I mean, that is impressive for, uh, for LEDs. And then, that's what it looks like. I'm about, uh, about 15, 20 feet from the end of my garage door. Uh, I think I'm going to get a set of high beams for these. And then we'll really see what it looks like.